hello guys welcome back to another part of android tutorial in today's episode we are going to learn about how to manage the fragment transaction in android so in the previous part we just created a project that contained two fragments so i just open up that project so here on the main activity of this project there is a button is present so when i click this button it will open up the first fragment so now I just click the bike button you can see that now the application will exit that means there is no <coughs> we are not tracking the transaction we are not managing the transaction between the main activity and the first fragment so you can easily manage or you can easily track the transaction of fragments using the uh, transaction backstack method so now I am going to <coughs> track the transaction between the main activity uh, uh, main activity and first fragment and between the first fragment and the second fragment so here is the transaction in this statement actually here in this statement the transaction is take place and add the first fragment into the main activity and we commit that before committing the transaction we can add the transaction object into the backstack method for <coughs> for managing the transaction in Android for tracking the transaction in Android so here I'm going to add the transaction into the backstack method so had to backstack method uh, I pass null as argument okay now we just track the <coughs> transaction between the main activity and first fragments so now we are going to track the transaction between the first activity and first fragment and second fragment so go to the first fragment fragment 1 and here is the here is the second transaction take place so now here here also I'm going to add the transaction into the backstack method add it to backstack provide null okay now I'm going to run the project now you can easily track the transaction that means you ca uh, user can move it to the previous transaction by clicking the bike button of that application so run the project now <coughs> okay now the <coughs> now the project is launched so now I click the button and click buy button now you can see that now the project is not exist and now the project is not exit and we can easily move it to the previous transaction previous fragment transaction by just clicking the buy button now go to the uh, second transaction second fragment now also I have I can able to I am able to move it to the previous fragment transaction by clicking the buy button of that activity Guys, this is how we manage the fragment transaction in Android. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part of this tutorial.